Various poker term, various poker term, very good movie. Hey guys, it's Jeremy here, and this is my review for Molly's Game. This is a film that's the first ever directed by Aaron Sorkin. Aaron Sorkin is a screenwriter who's responsible for films and television shows such as The Social Network and The Newsroom. Now admittedly I've actually been interested in seeing what Aaron Sorkin could do behind the director's chair for a long time. The guy has proven himself to be a very good writer, a very on the spot, very information filled but doesn't feel like exposition filled sort of writer and he does that and more with Molly's game. The film follows Molly Bloom, a former skier who had an accident and then slowly became the head of one of the most popular underground poker games in the world. Jessica Chastain is stunning in every sense of the word. Her character is incredible. The mannerisms of her character, how she portrays through the events, and everything we go along with her. We see a person who's incredibly focused, incredibly determined, and a very unique personality for someone of her age. And as well, what she wears. I have to admit, they probably spent a crap ton of money on her costume design. Because what she's wearing throughout the movie is absolutely magnificent. What we see is Molly going through a series of challenges, incredibly difficult challenges, but how versatile she is at taking them on. The opening of the movie in itself is a big indication of what's to come. She breaks down everything about how she's going to code down the mountain, how her father is telepathically talking to her, how she's breaking down what will happen, when it will happen. We also see how she handles accidents, unknown variables, and that is a sort of a reoccurring theme throughout the film. What we see is actually a really good poker movie in my opinion. We see how she started up the business, we see how she interacted with people. It is purely about her want for success. On the side we have Idris Elba as her lawyer and he does a phenomenal job. Admittedly because he's trying to do an American accent his mouth gets a little, a little slurry but otherwise that's it. He's fantastic in the movie. The banter between the two of them is absolutely fantastic. We see not only the good in these characters, we see the strive and there's these tiny little bits of humor that are dropped in throughout the film. There is a lot of information being bombed at you. So much that I actually didn't gather everything. That's the one thing I will say is that Aaron Sorkin is writing the script and there's probably, I don't know how long the script is, but there's so so much information being blasted at you. It feels like if Casino or Goodfellas was just two hours, but this movie in fact is two and a half hours long, so he is trying to shove as much content in into this movie. And that's probably my biggest flaw with the film is that you won't gather everything. I was trying to make sure I gathered everything from this film, every piece of dialogue that was said, but admittedly there were parts where I was like, I'm lost. I just it's coming at me too fast. And that's the only flaw I'll have with this movie. Jessica Chastain is fantastic. She shows off how freaking good she is as an actress. She's been doing this for a lot of years now, but this movie cements how good of an actress she is. Idris Elba, fantastic character as well. And actually probably the biggest surprise is that Kevin Costner delivers probably some of the best acting he's done in I don't know how goddamn long. The film isn't just about the strive for success or the strive for wanting to be a better self, but it's also about inner turmoil, inner family issues, and inner conflict with trying to be better yourself. I like this movie in so many ways. The only issue I have is just the amount of information that's being blasted at you in such a short amount of time. Short amount of time being two and a half hours, so take that into consideration. However, the film is energetic, it's completely intriguing, and it really takes you on a ride with a very unique, very interesting character, and it makes you want to learn more about her right after you finish the movie. So in the end, I'm gonna give Molly's Game a six out of seven. I would almost give it a seven, but like I said, just too much information, just too much being shot at you at once. Otherwise, fantastic writing, fantastic directing, and fantastic acting. Oh, by the way, there's actually someone who appears in this movie for like five minutes, and it was actually really awesome to see him. However, I won't tell you who he is, but I will give you a hint. If you got that, then you're in for a treat. 
Anyways, guys, thank you for watching my review. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, leave a like down below, and if you want, maybe subscribe. Anyways, guys, that's all from me. I'll see you guys next time.